Engineering and entertainment often don't go hand in hand. However, today I'll be going through two TV series that I feel every engineer should watch. Not just for the entertainment purpose, as these series are both enthralling and binge-worthy, but they also provide some of the engineering aspects, but also the psychological aspects that led up to those events. And don't forget to stick around to the end, as I'll provide a bonus recommendation that I feel every engineer should listen to, as it provides insight into some of the major disasters that we see around the world. My name's Brendan, your structural engineer. Now let's get into it. The first series that I recommend, if you can only pick one of them, this is the one to watch. And this is the HBO series Chernobyl. What are the good we did? It doesn't matter. What does matter is that to them, justice was done. See, a just world is a sane world. There was nothing sane about Chernobyl. It walks you through the events that led up to the nuclear disaster in Chernobyl. Some of the psychological aspects and the meetings. Yes, there is some license here. However, the meetings are portrayed highly realistically. I'm pleased to report that the situation in Chernobyl is stable. In terms of radiation, I'm told it's the equivalent of a chest x-ray. No. Chernobyl is on fire. And it betrays the impact and aspects on the people that are actually involved with it. Cut the phone lines. Contain the spread of misinformation. What will happen to our boys? The pain is unimaginable. Also some of the pressures that led up to that event what caused it and some of the knowledge. So some of the knowledge that wasn't passed on. So holding back knowledge as an engineer and some of that impact that that can have on events that led up to it. And also that pressure from high up to lead some goals. Now that's only in the first episode. Then it walks through the cleanup and some of the engineering behind it and some of the problems that they had to deal with to clean up this major disaster and the impact on the residents. Tell me how to put it out. You are dealing with something that has never occurred on this planet before. And it finally walks through the court case where it details what caused the event and the aspects behind this disaster and who was inevitably to blame. What happened on the night of the accident? Asking the right question will get you the truth. There is no truth. This series really brings it down to earth, tries to make it more realistic than an action event. Some of the event in this series is highly graphic, so it's not for younger kids. However, they're able to break down the lead up to it and some of the hubris of the people involved, stating that events like this cannot happen. You cannot have a nuclear reactor explode. One of the most enjoyable things that I've seen in a long time. It also breaks it down those engineering aspects and the psychological aspects that actually push and pull you. Often all too real when you're in some of those meetings, you can see how they got to where they got to and the pressures that were actually on the people involved. So as I said, if you've only got one series to watch, it's this series from HBO. If you're enjoying these recommendations, smash that like button. It really helps me out and gives me guidance on the type of episodes to make for you. Now let's keep going with the second recommendation. It's from Netflix and it's the Challenger The Last Flight. And it's a build up to the final disaster with Challenger, which was the US's and actually the world's biggest space disaster of all time. 14 people perished. Now that might not seem like a lot. However, there's only been about 18 people that have lost their lives, at least documented going into space. So 14 is the lion's share of the number of people that have lost their lives. It was also the first flight to have a civilian involved who had actually won a competition and she was a teacher and she was going to be the first person to be up into space as a civilian. And that was to drive more hype around the space industry and involving our younger students to move into this industry. However, it did the exact opposite with this major disaster. It takes a different tack from the HBO series where you get interviews from the people actually involved and the engineers in those meetings. Yes, there is some license and some acting involved with this as well, as they recreate some of those meetings that occurred and the pressures that were involved. However, you also get the other side of it. The engineers are actually involved with those meetings and how they led up to the decisions that actually caused this disaster. They actually walk you through 
the key aspects and what they knew at what time and actually some of the warning signs before. and when you're talking to them you can see why they made their decisions and you can see in some of the meetings that you have some of the pressures that you're involved with that you could lead yourself down a similar path this is why i recommend this series as when you're in meetings you can think to yourself is this pressure involved with a major engineering problem or is this something that we can overlook and don't let the people in that meeting pressure you into any decision. And you can see the pain on some of those engineers face that made certain decisions that led up to this event. And it's not often that you get to see this in such great detail and actually talking to the people involved so openly. If you've got a Netflix subscription, you really have no excuse to go out and watch this series. Despite it being more of a documentary style than Chernobyl, it is also highly entertaining as well. And you also learn quite a lot of psychological aspects that led up to some of the decisions involved and some of the problems that you may encounter as an engineer. As teased at the start, now the bonus listening material. And this is a podcast by Brady Haywood, who's based in Brisbane, Australia. And he's actually a forensic engineer. And he breaks down some of the major engineering failures, what led up to them and the causes behind them. Put a lot of effort and forethought into it, making them both entertaining. If you only have a limited time to listen to these, I recommend you listen to the Apollo 11 series that he put together. But if you have time, subscribe to his episodes and listen to all of them. You'll both be entertained and learn quite a lot. Are there any, are there any other recommendations on TV series or episodes? Please comment below. If you made it to this point, you clearly like this episode, so hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet and interested in structural engineering, hit the subscribe button, get all updates you need to ding the bell. And I look forward to seeing you next week.